sick. Gorgeous um, Easter Friday morning down at Bondi. I'm going to cook up some brunch. So I'm going to try and get some abalone and some sea urchin to make some scrambled eggs. Um, as you can see, it's really nice conditions at the moment. It's the first clear water we've had since all the floods. So looking forward to jumping in and seeing what it's like. This is my first dive. I'm just diving straight down using the torch to look in all the little crevices and cracks between the rocks. This is where generally you'll find the abalone. Um, I'm probably in about four or so meters of water here and yeah just really using the torch. The torch helps a lot because it helps you see places that you would usually have to spend more time to actually get a good look in. Um, you can go without the torch, it just makes life way easier. I found a crack here with about five or six abalone in it. I'm just demonstrating there. You can see when I touch it, it instantly sucks itself down onto the rock. And it's pretty much impossible to get it off with your hands at that point. So what you do is you just get your knife and just slide it straight under between the abalone and the rock and it'll pop straight off, just like that. In New South Wales, abalone need to be a minimum of 11.7 centimetres to be legally taken. This guy was just a little bit under, so I'm going to put it straight back on the rock where I found it, um, pressing it down against the rock so it can suction straight back on and not get eaten by predators. This abalone I grab right here is an invasive species. It's called a jade tiger-lipped abalone. So I try and get them whenever I say. Now that I've grabbed an abalone, all I need left to cook my brunch is some sea urchins. So I'm going to collect them really easy just by popping them off the rocks and then throwing them up onto um, out of the water. They're extremely common. You see them absolutely everywhere. And they're a good species to take because they're so overpopulated that they actually sort of destroy a bit of the habitat. Um, some of that habitat is the habitat lobsters like to live in. So eat more sea urchin and then more lobsters will be around as a result. So I just got out from the dive, it was pretty successful, the water was cleaner than I would have thought it would be considering all the flooding we've had recently, um, I think the subtle as well has pushed some cleaner water in. Anyway I found probably 30 or so black with abalone, which are the native abalone to Sydney but um, unfortunately they were all undersized. What I did find though is one of these jade, uh, I think they're called tiger jade abalone. As you can see this one's really small but these are a um, introduced species. They've only popped up in the past, I don't know, six months or so. So whenever I see them I try and get rid of them because they're invasive and don't want them to um, affect the local ecosystem. Also got these two sea urchins which I'll harvest the uni out of and yeah used to cook up some scrambled eggs. So to clean the abalone I'm just going to come under this flat edge here with a knife and basically like an oyster come under and just cut where it attaches to the shell and then you can pull off all the guts And there's the shell. You also want to cut out the mouth of the abalone which is this part here. Uh, it's got the mandibles in there which are quite hard and you can't really eat them. So I'm going to chuck all the guts and stuff and then this is the piece of meat that you're left over with. The abalone can be extremely tough if you don't cook them properly so what I'm going to do is slice them extremely thin and then cook them at a very high temp very fast. So I'm just going to do this slices as thin as possible really and that'll help ensure that they're tender to eat once they're cooked. To go with the abalone I'm just going to smash one clove of garlic and also slice that very thin to chuck it in there with it. So to get the uni out of these I'm just going to cut with some scissors around the mouth You see there, that's the mouth that's been pulled out. And now I'm going to cut down in half. So 
So there is the sea urchin cut in half and under all these guts here you can see you've got all this row. So I'm going to try and get them out a bit cleaner and then I'll give them a wash and get that all out of there. Oh, yeah. After cleaning up all the sea urchin, that's all the row I've gotten out of it. There's not much, but it's got a lot of flavour, so it should be good. What I'm going to do is get some creme fraiche and just take a dollop of that or so in here. And then, just to get um, some of the stringier kind of bits out of the urchin, I'm going to pass it through a sieve to mix with the creme fraiche. Now I've got my mix of the creme fraiche and the uni, which is what I'm going to finish the scrambled eggs with. Um, it looks pretty filthy at the moment, but it will taste good once it's finished. I'm going to add some sesame oil and wait for that to get smoking hot. It only takes about, I don't know, 30, 45 seconds and it's done. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to clean out the pan, let it cool down again, and then I'm going to cook my scrambled eggs. To make the scrambled eggs, I'm going to chuck in a good chunk of butter. And my two beaten eggs work that over a low heat until the curds of the eggs start to form. Also going to add just a sprinkle of chili flakes just to add a little bit of extra heat. The eggs are just about done. I'm going to add in the abalone if already cooked. Mix that in and then mix some of the uni creme fraiche that I made earlier. Just to finish it off I'm going to season it with a little sea salt and cracked pepper and then take it off the heat. I'm going to throw the whole dish together. To finish it off, I've got a nice piece of toasted sourdough, a bit of butter on it. I'm going to layer on the scrambled eggs, which is full of the uni and the abalone and the garlic sesame oil, chili, and then just a final sprinkle of chives and some fried echelots just for a little bit of extra flavour and crunch to finish it up. There you go. I'm going to chop it up into some pieces and give it a taste. Okay, I've got Do With Me is going to give it a taste and tell me what you think. Okay. Have a try. You never had abalone before, right? Or uni? Never, never. Oh my god. What do you think? It's not bad, huh? Oh my god, it's, this is so good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Cheers, bro. Nice one.